There are two types that we cover on this here series. The 35 millimeter beautiful 70s, early 80s that we've been doing a lot of lately. However, equally important in my heart is the SOV mid to late 80s. Today, we're bringing you one from the vault that was pulled and now it's back and it's a beautiful 1986 trick photography masterpiece, Double Dare. <laughs> All right, 74 minutes long. Ours is 11. Now, Barbara and Vladimir are a Russian and American spy. 1986, USA working with the Russians. What? What? They work together on different projects and a long time ago, prior to this story. So she brings it up to him. She's like, I'll never forgive you from the dual molecular beam split. What is it? A dual molecular beam split. Dual molecular beam split incident. He's like, I couldn't help it. You're American people. They were four guys who were holding me down and I got imported, exported. You won't see any of that. They weren't wearing the proper outfits for that piece of narrative storytelling. So I'm just going to tell you here. Barbara Dare was stuck in the beam splitter, the molecular beam splitter. So now she has this cool thing where she can become two. What are you looking at? This is stupid. You tried this on the last intro. Your mom tried it on the last intro. All right, espionage, spies. Uh, Ours is a little wonky, okay? But I love it. I love it. The music, the theme. They even sample a small, like Pink Panther on, on Sunday's release, Pizza Girls, where it had like four notes of the Pink Panther. This has like four straight up notes of the James Bond theme. They dip in and out of it. And I like this theme. The, the original portion of it, it goes pretty hard and often <laughs> they play this spy theme a lot during the movie you're gonna watch the the one that i just watched and whittled down this picture is pg and i loved this movie so much that i did an intro for it it didn't cut the mustard at youtube it was one of the ones that was pulled let's cut to jason from the past he'll talk about the rating we'll watch the picture it's 11 minutes long I'll come back at the end. We're going to talk about the cast, the crew, and I'm going to fill in a bunch of blanks for you. The opening scene has a bikini and a gun that's never used. Later on, there's a caper and some espionage. It has cigarettes and alcohol, but there's no innuendo. It could almost be G if it wasn't for those six things. It's double trouble. Enjoy.
Vladimir, how the hell did you get back into the country? Be a dear and point at someone else. You know, I guess you're not to surprise me like this. Well, you know us, the DGB. We're full of surprises. Mm. We have got the famous belly button ruby of Burma. I have planned this caper down to the very last detail. Nothing can stop us. Bert, I need a light. Coming up. How's that? Light. The cigarette. Oh, cigarette. The cigarette. Thank you. May I have my drink now? Should I leave the light on? It doesn't matter. The drink, Bert. The drink. I don't know what I'd do without you, my peach. I don't know either. I don't know. So, you were talking about the, um, belly button ruby, my grape? Bert, would you please stop referring to me as a piece of fruit? Anything you say, my pet? Just call me Lola, okay? Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Duty calls. Mr. Dalman. Hi. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'll go to Madame Lola's. You, follow me in. No, I think it would be better if we go in as one and then split the first chance that comes. Okay? Okay, let's do it. What do you think we can get for this belly button stone? The belly button ruby of Burma is considered priceless. Does that mean we can't get any money for it? God, the people I am forced to surround myself <coughs> with. No, no, no. <coughs> priceless means that we can sell it for lots of money. Ah.
I'll check this side of the house. You, check that side. Right. Join you later. Let's do it. This feeling I should be here tonight. Do you have the stone? Yes. Do you have the money? Yes. Now let me see the stone. We will be back in a moment, and then I have very little time. I need the stone now. Okay. Follow me. you think? Did you like it? Duck Dumas and Charles Webb, they made this. They wrote it together. Duck Dumont directed it. And Charles shot it. Charles DeSantos is what it says on the screen. But that's Charles Webb. And they've made a bunch of pictures together. Uh, Duck Dumont's first film ever, video ever, was Passion Pit. And that was like Charles's 50th but once they um once they caught up on passion pit past that they are working together almost constantly cool team i like them barbara dare plays herself her her adult name is barbara dare her name in this picture is barbara dare multiple avn award winner including her first year where she got like the rookie of the year. What do they call it? New Starlet in 1987. She also won uh, 89 and 90. She's super talented. You may know her from B Cinema. I know her from B Cinema. She was in the Fred Olin Ray. Evil Tunes. Do you remember that? 1992 film with Dick Miller, John Carradine, uh, Michelle Bauer. She's in that. Stacy Nix is her name in the real movies. To me, that's her biggest hit because of Fred Olin Ray. It's a top of the line cult classic. But she also had small parts in Turk 182, Valley Girl, 52 Pickup. Billy D has a quick little snippet in ours, Mr. Downing. And Billy D's amazing. We saw him last in Black Taboo, one of my all-time favorites. Barbara Dare's teammate is Vladimir, and he is played by Mike DeMarco. A lot of his stuff is cut out, but he's awesome, and he's a good guy. Unlikely good guy. 1986, USA working with the Russians? What? What? Madame Lola and Bert are the bad guys. Mylene? I've heard her name pronounced Mylin or Mylene. She plays Madame Lowe. And her sidekick, Bert, is played by Steve Drake. <laughs> and he, Bert, Steve Drake, is my favorite in this movie. He has so many little quips. Oh, I, I guess two of them are in what you just watched. When he confuses priceless for worthless. And she's like, the gem, it's priceless. And he's bummed out because he thinks that means they can't get a price for it. I'm, ex I'm explaining to you what you just saw, so that's kind of lame, but I thought that was funny. And then also, can I get a light? 
and he turns on the light instead of lighting her cigarette. So he was the comedy guy. But I do like that he thought Priceless was bad. The belly button ruby of Burma. Has anybody seen the bridge? Have you seen the belly button ruby of Burma? This whole thing. Google Burma ruby. It's a thing. I didn't know that. I, you know, for these, I do, I do, I do do a medium dive. And in my medium dive, I realized that there is Burma rubies. Madam Lau and Bert, if they pulled off the ruby scam, they already had their bags packed and they were going to go do a kangaroo farm in Australia. This film is so international. Oh, oh, I'm so glad I remember this. Not, I guess it doesn't matter at all. But Bunny Blue is in this. The amazing Bunny Blue. And her role is awesome. Cut from ours completely. So, sorry, Bunny. You did a great job. And I, I couldn't allow you in our picture. Sorry. I owe you one. We'll, we'll, we'll get one for you. I'm wearing like the same outfit as from one of these last week, but you know why? It's because this is my, it's freezing at 7,000 feet elevation. And this is just kind of my thing that I throw on. It's like my smoking jacket, my nighttime woolly. It's so fuzzy. All right. Now this is 33, cross it off the list. 32 more old ones to go. Okay, I'm Jason from Barefoot, squeaky clean adult films. Okay, bye.